let's use this block, this bond graph model now to produce the block diagram. So let me just complete this graph a little bit in here. And then we have it uh, like this, yeah? Just put one, two, three, and four. And then let's just go over here and say, okay, go to the KMG software here. There you go. Go here. This is going to help you also with your assignment because I am going to review how you obtain the state space form using this. Uh, so this is new. And then what we have is uh, we put the, this is an AC. I think we had one like this. And then we have this over here. And then we have this over here like this. And then this. And we just join the. This is what we have. And very quickly, in just a few seconds, we go to the MATLAB with this. And we produce uh, the using this bond graph configuration in CAMG will produce the MATLAB. Yeah. So in here we 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 the first thing we're going to do is uh, obtain the state space form. And the the one thing that we need is um, to obtain the state space form the A and B matrices. Let's just uh, run the CAMGSYM file, and then we will be uh, we will be there where we want to be. So um, it's just okay. There we go. So there is this file. This is the I'm going to run this right here, and guess what? The computer has produced the A and B matrices automatically, immediately in less than 15 seconds. So you don't have to do any derivation, but it does it automatically in here. So what we can do is uh, to uh, maybe what I, I would put this is, I'm going to take a little picture on this also so that we can put it in our notes in here. See right here? This is the state space form. And what I want to do is, uh, not only show you the state space form, these are the matrices, but what CAMG did for you is also produce those uh, uh, the, the equations of the system, Professor? which is uh, over here, yeah? Real quick, which, uh, did you run the CAM -SIM? CAMG SIM. SIM. And I am going to steal it from here again so that you can see. And here I am going to go over here and then, see, I'm going to cut a little bit of the filing here, this part right here, and then I'm going to put it in the notes over here, right there. My point being is that this equation here, this one, and this are the two equations you need for the simulink. In fact, I am going to do it right here. See, here is a... We're going to be over for about maybe two more minutes, but I think it might be worth it because you need to do this. See, right here, I go in here, and then I I do the, my, this is this one right here, d p sub 2 dt, like this. And then um, you have one term in here that says, um, this is minus P sub 2 over I sub 2. That's this one. And it says times R sub 4. And then you have this other term, which is it's right here. It says uh, minus also. Yeah, it's minus Q sub 3 over C sub 3. And then SE1, which is this SE1 like this, SE1 like that, yeah? Now, you do the same thing as, as we did before, do the integration over here, 
you do an integration over here, 1 over s. And what do you obtain in here? You obtain p sub 2. And let's just put the scope in here so that you see here now, like I say, here the note. <laughs> Go over here, this p sub 2, it yells at you that what you need to do to get that term right is to multiply by r4 over i sub 2. But you, you, you are missing q sub 3. Then you go over here, see? So um, in q over 3, so this one is the second equation is d q uh, 3 dt. And then the other term that comes in here is p sub 2 over i sub 2. So I do the very same thing as I did before. I go and I do the integration over here, 1 over s, I obtain q sub 3, and then I have it in scoping here, and then everything falls into place. See, this yields, it wants q sub, a p sub 2, so I'll bring it from here, multiply this by 1 over i sub 2, and then I go into here. And this one here, you see, it, it, it needs q sub 3. So I will bring it from here, multiply it by 1 over c sub 3, and then go over like that. And I have totally finished. You see what I mean? This is how you go from the state space form uh, pro produced by the bond graph model, also all the way to the simulink uh, load there.